options and you go far left okay extreme left and the live option is the first one i couldn't figure it out myself <laughs> uh anyway here we are how, how are you biscuit yeah i'm very good well thank you good to see you good to see you uh, hair's looking good nice hey hey good. hey <laughs> <laughs> nice and comb this is yeah, listen, quite inter- quite interesting with the lockdown you know we've been i don't know how many days now what 28 or something silly yeah um so my hair was very long believe it or not mm. i mean you know <laughs> that both of us now don't have a lot of hair left but i'm working on it <laughs> i'll never say die eh? um anyway yeah. i did this i did this haircut two days ago by mm. myself with clippers mm-hmm. and scissors and the works it's not bad eh wow that's a good effort uh, i'm not surprised anything you do it's it's good so i'm not surprised <laughs> Listen and what's what's up with that beard it's going more gray and gray by the day. Uh it's not the beard only now look at this <laughs> it's come it's come upstairs as well and uh, yeah it's it's, it's making it's wh- it way it's way wisdom. up there as well though. wisdom yeah, wisdom stress everything <laughs> you know how it is you know how it is <laughs> yeah true what's been well, happening how's the family everyone safe everyone okay yeah. Very good thanks. It took took us about an hour to just to calm the boys down. They are in mm. in fifth gear at the moment here. Yeah? Haven't been locked down for almost a month. They're quite mm. frustrated and now our garden is not very big. Eh? It's like I I don't know. I, it's it's a very average size garden. So we we literally <laughs> I know how optim- energetic they are. We optimize every square meter every day. So <laughs> which is good it keeps me fit. Eh? Sweet sweet. I know uh, how energetic they are and being neighbors uh every morning sneaking into our room to steal packets of chips and say good morning and just give a high five and run away all oh, those little Look, beauties i i actually when i when i told them i'm going to talk to you they were very excited yeah. and they what you know they they fell in love with you basically last year with <laughs> the, the ipl it's just uncle yeah. virat uncle virat for 24 hours now that's like what i want to see you and i said listen boys you'll get your opportunity when the ipl comes to talk to uncle virat but this is our chat now <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, What's the situation in South Africa with uh, the disease and is it under control? What's happening? Yeah, it's not too bad, eh? Um, our, our, our president Cyril Ramaphosa addressed us last night. He's a he's a huge inspiration, eh? Um, mm-hmm. I think there was a funny thing that happened last night. He tried to get his mask on after his speech, and it it got he had it the wrong way around, and he had it over his eyes at one minute. But the way. <laughs> the way he addresses the nation and doing little things like that is such a genuine human being and art i mean i can't rave go on about him enough he's he's really changing things in south africa obviously right now it's tough times mm. but he's really handling it so well that everyone feels inspired people have been so disciplined mm. staying at home you know the mm. story washing hands people haven't yeah. gone out at all but we've gone into a level 4 now which means mm. it's still serious and we got to avoid social um contact and um mm. uh, big big gatherings and all of that um but at mm-hmm. least it's one level down from 5 um I'm mm-hmm. oh, sorry we haven't reached it yet it's going to be announced i think next week thursday but that'll mm-hmm. help a lot so i can at least go for a jog i think um quite a few things will okay. change but it's still okay. still very risky and and serious uh and you yeah that's that's quite uh, an advanced step for you guys i mean we have mm. obviously been in lockdown for a long time now and um things are more or less you know they went out of control in a few areas but as you correctly mentioned our leadership is doing a tremendous job as well i think with the with the number of people that we have in the size of the country i, th- I think we've done <coughs> quite amazingly well to control uh, the disease uh, till now obviously our our immunity is really helping as well um, you know not that many casualties there are a lot of deaths but uh, luckily the graph hasn't uh, shot up in a drastic way so people are quite optimistic about how things are going to pan out uh but yeah look it's it's still difficult you know people are trapped inside um especially the guys who who don't get food to eat uh in this mm-hmm. day and age um the migrant workers and you know guys who work on daily wages are really struggling so there's so many things happening so many amazing people doing such a great job but it's good to see it's it's good to see the human side really coming up because that's the only option we have right now you know no ego no sort of um manipulations anywhere people just trying to help people in need and there's there's always a silver lining to all of this and i can truly see that uh, you know that many people mm. reaching out and making an effort and risking their lives to help others is is quite uh, an amazing thing to see in such a crisis situation so yeah we, hopefully we are on the right path as well 
I don't think that we're going to get to jog uh, outside and all that anytime soon. I think you guys are are luckier that way, and the condition seems uh, much better than than what it is here. But yeah, hopefully in time we should be able to do that as well. Mm. Look, I might I might not be hundred percent accurate, but I, the way I, I've got it is that we will will be allowed to jog at least from next week. Mm-hmm. But I, I might be wrong before people. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Get onto, on 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 my case, but it, Virat, I don't know what you feel. It almost feels like surreal, you know. It feels like I'm part of a big movie, yeah. <laughs> um, but it, it is it is real with a virus. But but the nice thing about a big movie is there's always opportunity. There's always a hero, and there's always opportunity for people to stand up mm-hmm. and to make yep. a difference, and to to have seen the leaders and people inspiring mm-hmm. each other, you know, um, to to mm-hmm. give out a helping hand to people in need and. I think both of us have a big responsibility with that. And we'll, I think we'll touch on that a bit later. How are we going to try and make a difference yeah. together? Absolutely. I totally agree with you. I think um, what it, I mean, we, obviously they are comparing this or even, you know, um, putting this across as even a worse situation than the world war. So we have no idea what happened back then. It would have been crazy for people who experienced that. But the thing right now is that you literally have no other option but to follow what's been told. Yeah. And for some people, it's been so tough because, you know, we're just not used to listening or, or doing the correct thing. It's, it's a bit sad to see as well when, you know, people don't follow um, one vision, one goal, and it can make such a huge difference. I mean, people understand that today that if everyone gets together and work in the right direction, special things can happen. You know, things mm-hmm. can come back to normal sooner than what people might think if they push in one direction and, yeah, it's it's actually surreal. I never thought we we're going to see a time like this ever. You know, I I can it's, I can compare that. So I can mm. actually compare that to cricket a lot. Eh? Um, I I mm-hmm. think you'll relate with the fact that definitely in my career, very often you feel like mm-hmm. you're a million miles away from achieving anything, and yep. basically that never say die attitude, never giving up, pushing harder, pushing yep. harder. Before you know it, things happen so quickly and so dramatically yep. that. You look around and you go like, hold on, I've, I've just achieved something that no one else in the history has achieved before. And I think you can say that quite a bit about yourself mm. and your stats. But we as cricketers, we never look at our stats mm. um, that often. But looking back at a lot of hard work, all of a sudden magic happens. And I think we're in a similar kind of situation than some of our cricket games and cricket careers. If we just push on for a bit longer, they might not yep. seem like there's light at the end of the tunnel. But before you know it, doors open up and the light comes yep. through. Oh. Absolutely, I totally agree with you. Are I think as sportsmen, it it or sportswomen, it teaches us a lot to keep bouncing back. That's something mm-hmm. that is ingrained in us, and um, yeah, that should come uh, on the surface for everyone. And we can totally relate to that mindset. We can keep pushing people in the right direction, keep motivating them, and that I think is our contribution right now. Apart from all the things oh. that we do from um, you know financial side of things helping people and charities and stuff but apart from that i think it's the motivation it's it's touching the right um, emotion in people that really brings out the best in them and that's I don't something know if, that we yeah and, 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 and i don't know if you're the do. same but it almost feels like your hands are tied in in these times you yeah. we want to do a lot but you, you're locked up in your house and I, I think from a mental freshness point of view and staying positive it's important not to be too hard on yourself try and give mm-hmm. give a hand where you can but mm-hmm. don't pull yourself down when you feel like you're not changing the world in one day it takes time you know and every little bit helps so certainly for me i felt like you know what i've, I've had a big following because of my cricket over the years and i'm not doing enough i tell my wife every night i'm not i don't feel like i'm doing anything um and then she she gives me the peace of mind like just stay patient you are actually i remember that guy remember this you are helping and um, i think if you're patient patiently doing something positive every day the the big sum will eventually be something special. I totally yeah. agree with you. I think uh, when you do something for someone, it has to be special. Uh, it has to be something that makes an impact on their lives. And yeah. not everyone has to uh, publicize it. Not everyone has to put it out there and, you know, show the world what I'm doing or what not. Unfortunately, that's the kind of validation everyone's seeking. But mm. you have to choose to live life in the right uh, manner. And you yeah. have to choose to do the right thing. And... Um, as you said, Daniel is 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 your uh, pillar of strength for me in my <laughs> life. Uh, Anushka is definitely that person who always pushes me in that direction. You know, if uh, if, if anything is off, um, any kind of motivation, any kind of support, uh, we're both there for each other. And I think we're blessed to have uh, a great uh, life partner and um, you know great people around us. And 
yeah i've i've seen you impact people in a way that it's very different it's very special it's not out there it's not for the world to watch but the mm. things you say to people the way you come across you treat them uh, certainly makes an impact on them and i've seen that inside the change room and i was just thinking from that note i remember the first time um we met after um you 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 were picked up by rcb <laughs> i remember no. it was in johannesburg and we came down the tunnel you guys uh, were finishing practice or um yeah correct you guys were finishing practice we were just uh, starting ours and i came and said hello and i said we're going to be playing together and you were like i'm excited for that it was a very brief <laughs> chat i didn't know so many years after what 9 years we'll be you know such good friends and have wow. a great journey together and yeah it's been wonderful it's been wonderful to create a lot of memories it's a it's an interesting story because it's a very human thing to do is when you when you hear about someone for quite a few years and I've about you mm. has told me a lot about you um yeah. leading up to I mean I think you were 18 19 20 um when you started playing for RCB and and about you would tell mm. me about you <clears throat> and mm. I've known you for 3 years but never met you never meeting mm-hmm. you in that time you sort of it's a human thing to sort of put put a bit of defense around yourself you know yeah. so I certainly I certainly I remember walking up that tunnel and even though i said hi my my defenses were definitely up like hold on <laughs> i don't quite trust this guy yet i've heard a lot about him i've seen the hair i've seen the style i'm not convinced <laughs> yeah but but um it didn't take me long to to get to know you a bit better and to to see the human side in you which i luckily over the last few years because of what you've achieved, you've achieved a lot of people have seen that human side where mm. if that didn't happen and for a lot of people i don't think everyone gets to enjoy the human side of them um you just see yeah. this image but mm. anyway um there's there's a there's a good spirit inside of your body and um basket we all have a lot of respect for you and everything you've achieved thanks okay brother. thank you so yeah. <laughs> that's enough of that <laughs> yeah it's a bit emotional <laughs> getting a bit dramatic but listen i was um, you know i was actually uh, talking to anushka about this and um, rcb shared a picture of the first um, game that i played for rcb and yeah. um, now it's been 12 years it was in 2008 and now we are in 2020 and it's such an amazing journey it's so surreal you you've been here 9 years yourself yeah. and um, it's been um, so amazing to you know actually look back and think for a lot of people it's it's all about obviously we we want to achieve the ultimate goal um for rcb we we've, we've come close uh, thrice uh, haven't been able to do. um that's always going to be you know our dream together but um i was just thinking looking back at this journey i was like and we just sat down and spoke about it i was like there is no way in any scenario that i can ever think of leaving this team <laughs> because of the joy we've had because of the love and the care the the franchise has shown the fans have shown you can you can feel emotional about the season going well or not but to have that loyalty um with bangalore with rcb it's been quite surreal i don't know what you feel about it but i just got this emotion i was like man till the time i'm playing ipl regardless of how we play i'm never i'm never leaving this team there is no Look- chance any situation that i'm going to play for anyone else not not everyone is as sure of staying in a side as you are so actually be my inspiration for quite a few years now i i never mm. want to leave bangalore but i know i've got to yeah. score runs if i want to stay there so that's really pushed me and obviously <laughs> the fans but <laughs> but mm, um mm. it is it is crazy when you look back and that that uh, that i want to touch on it's it's something that that's on my mind a lot is how people mm. harp on stats and hundreds and big performances and as nice as that is Every time I look back on memories of the IPL or playing for South Africa or any any team for that matter you think of relationships and connections yeah. and friends and you don't really th- yes in the back of my mind hey I played a nice knock there it's more often mm. than not people remind me of that it's not myself thinking of mm. it but you you think special you think about special moments and the crowd's mm. atmosphere you know so those yeah. are the kind of things I I don't want to ever give away <laughs> I want to I want to be yeah. in Bangalore for that for I don't know how many years to come. So hopefully hopefully the IPL will happen this year. We'll see what happens. Yeah, let's see. I mean, we have no clarity whatsoever at the moment, uh, but I'm quite optimistic at some stage we will definitely have something um because uh, things are moving in the right direction and it's actually quite amazing um because when people get back from this when things are back to normal, 
I don't see things getting back to normal in the same manner that they were before everything happened. I think there are going to be a lot of changes. Mm. A lot of discipline has to be shown by people everywhere. Is what I'm thinking. Wow. People have to respect guidelines and rules and all that. That surely I think um, is going to be our future. But whenever people come back to watch games or you know the players come back <laughs> to play, there's going to be such different energy and pure enjoyment because what I've seen in this phase is. There a lot of times when you get egoistic and you think I'm doing this or I'm doing that. In reality, you're controlling nothing. No uh, one can do anything in the current situation. We all have to swallow our ego, just follow what's been told, and just be grateful for life. Try and help those who are in need, and that's all. We should be so grateful that we are able to sit in comfortable environments at a stage where so many people are struggling for food, and uh, it really puts things in perspective. You know, the, when you don't, don't have control of anything, you can't even get out of your own house. How can we claim to do something and make something happen? All we can do is just enjoy, and just have a good attitude and give everything that we have. And I think it's it's drastically going to change the enjoyment part of things for a lot of people. People are stop are going to stop getting so serious about you know their own games or results and all that sort of stuff. I think that uh, that pure love for everything is really going to come up on the surface. I don't know if you agree or not, but that's something I think uh, might help. Yeah, there's a lot of things that's um, that'll never be the same again. That's for sure. And mm. um, you, you touched on it briefly, <clears throat> and it's it's certainly something that I've become more aware of because of this pandemic. Is is the hunger that is around the world? Mm. It's it's huge, and it it breaks my heart. I, I I don't know how to deal with it. Um, that people are yeah, suffering yeah. that they can't get food on the table. I mean, I yeah, it it really gets to me. So my focus has been on that quite a lot, and those are the kind of. Mm. Um, the kind of causes that I've been that I've been supporting is really just trying to get food on tables, you know, and, and in mm-hmm. people's hands. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I, I can't think of anything worse than not not being able to give your family food. So that's mm-hmm. that's been my focus, and certainly for the next, well, for the rest of my life, I'll I'll try and make a difference when it when, when it comes to that. Obviously, different areas as well, mm-hmm. but I think that's that's quite a big big problem we have. Yeah, I think um, nothing. I don't think there's anything greater than that. Nothing hurts you more than seeing. people just struggling for uh, a meal and uh, as i said for the daily wage workers it was all about working one day making sure there's enough food and then continuing uh, the same cycle you know there's nothing there's no concept of savings or anything such are the challenges and the and the realities of of life for a lot of people and uh, we must all respect that we must all help uh when we are in a situation that we can definitely we should help and it's uh, amazing that you are thinking on those lines you're doing the same stuff uh, uh, me and anushka are helping a lot uh we have helped a lot as well and um yeah look these are the things that you can do as human beings and it's not to get satisfaction for yourself out of it but really understanding the other person's situation and the condition they might be in and just help without anything in return you know nothing yeah. of uh, no, no expectation of any sort but listen are you are you thinking of doing something about it and i spoke to you yesterday you were mentioning something that you wanted to uh, bring up but you didn't tell me about it so please <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, okay, I'll, I'll get to that. And um, okay. the way I'm going to get to that is obviously there's been quite a few memories uh, with regards mm-hmm. to the IPL. A lot, lot has happened, and um, mm-hmm. um, we've had a few good, uh, nice knocks together that that I'll that I'll never forget for the rest of my life. So there was a particular one in 2016 against the <laughs> the, the, the Gujarat Lions. Um, mm. I, I think, yeah, I think you 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 remember that one. We both scored. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now I understand why you told me yesterday. That get a get a bat and a pair of gloves for that game. <laughs> nah. I to- okay, I told go you. on, go on. This is interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. So it was it was a good partnership. Uh, it's a very enjoyable one. And um, yeah, uh, if I can remember correctly, I got one twenty odd, one twenty nine, I think, and you also got your hundred right at the end, where um, I gave you the strike. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah. That doesn't happen every day. The two batters get a hundred in the same game. It was also the green game, which was a very special memory for me, where we did our bit in creating a bit of awareness for yep. for being eco-friendly for the for na- for nature, which is very close to my heart, and I was also close to your heart. Mm. And then I was just thinking that um, how, how can we make a difference? Um, And mm-hmm. that's why I told you to get hold of that bet that you use in that game because I know you keep okay. your bets. I keep my bets as well. Okay. Um, and I've still got the shirt of that game, and I I always do it with the green games. I get yourself mm. and a few guys to sign, but that particular game, I just got you to sign, and I also signed my shirt. So I've got the shirt, I've mm. got my bet, and I'm going to wow. get hold of your bet and your gloves and my gloves. So now that's a big package, eh? <laughs> <laughs> What are you so doing the, with it? 
the plan is the plan is to to get it on an online auction platform where um oh, wow. I, I know there are a lot of collectors around the world that wouldn't mind your bet particularly but i'll throw mine in there as well as a little yeah, right, bonus right. <laughs> let's get uh, 